First pitch coming at you right after the break. Ready to go now with Merrifield up to the plate. Going to count one and two. One Fooled on that pitch, three. got a little anxious, and now in a two-strike count, he's going to have to widen out his stance, choke up on the bat, and really make sure he has pitch recognition before pulling the trigger. Swings and misses, struck him out. And now to the plate, here's the Toronto DH, Santiago Espinal. Good contact guy, good defender. Lifted in the air, right center field. McCormick has it sized up. Hauls it in for the out. Bo Bichette up to the dish. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. And good work there. Michael Brantley to start things off. Kicks and deals. And down on strikes. And now one away. David Hensley up next for the Astros. That one's in there. And that is strike two. and misses it's a strikeout well anytime you can punch out the top two guys in a lineup to start an inning got to be feeling pretty good out there on the mound because when you think of just having a distraction table setters on the base paths and all of a sudden you're dealing with the number three hitter any distraction can cause you to serve up a cookie and instead of it being a solo shot it's a two or three run homer two balls two strikes Left-hand hitter waits. Count is three and two. Kyle Tucker waiting for a turn at the plate. And a three-two. Fights it off. He'll see another. I want to start that load a little bit sooner because of the good velo. Three-two on the way. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. Kicks and fires. And that's ball four. I don't think he really wanted to pitch to him right there anyhow. Here's Kyle Tucker. 1-1 one, one now. And there's a ball. Fought off foul. Swing and a miss. Pulled the string on the changeup. I think. Back here in Houston. Now the batter now, George Springer. Here comes a pitch. That one fouled off. Two and two. Wind of the pitch. Stays alive. And here it comes. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Alvarez makes the grab. One down. Good pitch. He just kind of had him out in front on that pitch away and wasn't able to stay closed. Here's Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Hit hard on the ground.
short. Over to Abreu. And Guerrero is set down. Now it's Jansen to hit. Good power. Not great in the OBP department. And a pitch. Hard ground ball base knock. He was all over that one. Pretty tough for the infielders to do anything with that one. He pulled it hard into the outfield, and even when you keep it on the ground, it feels great when you hit a missile like that. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Had him out front for strike three. Blue Jays held in check. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Bottom half of inning number two. Jose Abreu up to hit. Swing and a miss. Two and two now. And another ball. James Kingsley, our plate umpire, consistent and maybe a little generous on the edges. Yeah, Boog, he'll give a little bit on the edges, like you said, but from what I've seen, he usually does that when a guy is just commanding those parts of the strike zone, and essentially the guy's earned it, the umpire rolls with him. Chris, do players ever change their approach in meaningful ways based on who's umpiring, or is it good to just be aware of tendencies so you're not that surprised? I'd say the latter because pitcher's got to pitch to his strengths regardless. The hitter's got to hit to his strengths. So you're aware of it, but you have to just hunt for what you can handle. And now Chaz McCormick. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. And the righty deals. Second inning here, no score. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. He wanted that fastball high and tight, looking for a strikeout, just didn't locate it very well. The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. He's making things difficult for himself right now out there on the mound, but, you know, his confidence should still be high enough to get out of this, but he's going to have to buckle down right here. Hauls it in for the out. Here's Mauricio Dubon. Next pitch is downstairs. Well, all eyes on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. That one misses, and that'll bring home a run. I expect a back and forth this entire game because of how good the offenses are. Here's Michael Brantley. Hit on the ground, might be two. Merrifield tossed the second, and that's two. Pitcher made the pitch, and his players... Back here at the ballpark, Kevin Biggio up to the plate. And the right hater deals. Popped up. One up, one down. Well, he gave the butt a shot there, but not able to execute. Yeah, I think he rushed it a little bit. And when guys rush, can be a pop up or can be bunted right back at a position player. This to third, and it goes just foul. Next offering misses down and away. Spoils that one and it remains two and two. Just a slow ground ball this time. On the run, throw to first. Out on a bang bang play, but he made it close. Back to the leadoff spot in the Blue Jays lineup. And now for the Jays, Whit Merrifield. Went down on strikes his first time through. Swings and misses. Slider right there. Just completely fool on the breaking ball right there. Had no chance. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Swings. 
swings through that one. It's a strikeout. And he's down on strikes for this. Welcome back. Bottom of the inning. Now it's the second baseman, David Hensley. Pitch misses. Two balls and a strike. Well, these Astros doing a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way. And I'm seeing very patient at-bats out of him. He's only given up one run, but the starter's pitch count is starting to get up there, and that might be the best news yet for this offense. Now it's Jordan Alvarez. Strike two. One ball, two strikes. In the dirt. Fires over to first. And yeah, they get the out on Alvarez. Now it's the right fielder, Kyle Tucker. He was a strikeout victim his first time. Swing and a miss. That's strike two. Strike three. Got him looking on the changeup. Astros are down quietly, but they hold a one nothing. Back here in Houston, John Chambi with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth, Santiago Espinal. This one popped up, foul ground first base side. Calls it in, and there's one away. So up next for Toronto, Bo Bichette. 0 for 1, he struck out swinging last time. Swing and a ground ball up the middle, that's a base hit. Well, his hot hitting continues. He's been getting great results lately. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. And it'll be George Springer to step to the plate. Got him! And two away now. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. now. He's over one. Here's a 1-1. Swing and a ball popped up. And it stays fair. And now they'll have runners on the corners with two away. Anything but pretty right there, but he'll take it every time. Totally tied up with that inside pitch. Got to it late and deep in the zone, but he got the bat on plane enough to fight it off the other way. So two down. Danny Jansen to hit here. And he's already singled in this game. Ball to strike. The pitch. Out towards right center field. Tucker should have it. Squeezes it. And that will end the inning. Blue Jays lead. Back here at Minute Maid Park. And now, Jose Abreu. On the ground to third. Throws across the diamond. That takes care of Abreu. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. And now it's Alex Bregman. He reached out a walk his first time. Knocks it down, but plenty of time to recover, and that's the second out. And now here's a speed threat. Outfielder Chaz McCormick worked a walk in his first trip to the plate. Off the mark there. Now two balls and a strike. And there's a foul ball. Fouls that off to the left and will do it again. This one popped up. Biggio drifts towards it. And that will end the inning. And welcome back. New inning getting started. Here's the left fielder, Dalton Varsho. Misses inside. Two and one. Activity in the Houston bullpen. Rafael Montero getting ready to go. Stanek warming up as well. Swing and a miss. It's two and two. I think he was sitting off speed there. Swing and a miss. Had him out front for the strikeout. You know, variant speeds can be just as useful for a pitcher as movement. As you see right there, it really was in a great location. But the fact that the velocity change had the hitter off balance, and that's all you got to do sometimes.
Drilled in the air. Right field. Way back there. And that is out of here. That'll fire up the dugout. His first homer of the year. It's 1-1. A breaking ball on the inside part of the play requires a hitter to stay really square with his mechanics. If you fly open with the front shoulder, there's no way you keep that ball fair. An outstanding job mechanically. He deserves that home run. Here's Kevin Kiermeyer. And that is cut on and missed. And the count, one and two. Righty delivers. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. And Chris, that's a way to neutralize his speed by keeping him off base. And the defense breathes a sigh of relief because he puts pressure on everyone if he can put the ball in play. But that's how you do it. Keep him off balance, get him out of there, and deal with the next guy. The one-two. Good job to fight that one off. Two outs. In the air, right field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. That is the inning. Just one hit in the inning, but it was a big one right here as it ties the ball game. All Back here in Houston, ready to go for the last half of the inning. And stepping in for the Astros, Corey Lee. Well, these Astros showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. They've already earned five walks in the game, and of course, that's providing them with a lot of run scoring opportunities. Stepping in, Mauricio Dubon. The Strohs yet to pick up a hit here. And that one in the air center field. And that'll fall for a base hit. And that turns the lineup over. Back against the wall with two strikes, but found a way. When you flare a ball out behind second base, it's really a tough spot for anyone to get to. And you're never trying to do that as a hitter. But when you do, I tell you what, you're yelling at it the entire way to get down. Now fly ball to right center. Kiermaier grabs it on the run. Here's the second baseman, David Hensley. And a pitch. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Really great change of speeds. He goes off the off speed to the fastball, and the hitter doesn't know what's coming next. Dives, but it kicks off his glove to first, and he beats it. Everyone's safe. Well, that certainly feels good when you can win the at-bat after being down in the count, up against it with two strikes right there. A chance now to take the lead, and at this point in the game, that could be a deciding run. Here's Jordan Alvarez. First and second, two down. That one missed. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. Next offering is foul back. Here in the fifth inning, and here he is about to throw his 100th pitch. Man, he's really had to grind through to get to this point. Caught him looking for the K. Two left for the Astros. New pitcher on now, Blake Taylor. He's pitching on two days rest. Now it's the Toronto designated hitter, Santiago Espinal. At the belt and fires. Here's a high fly ball out to center. McCormick makes the grab on the run. It's a little drop and drive on that swing. Backside collapsing just a little bit. Trying to put the ball in the air. And now the shortstop, Bo Bichette. One for two. And a pitch. Just off the outside edge. Two and one. Activity in the bullpen for Houston. Rafael Montero preparing to come on if needed. One down, base is empty. Hit hard, should be extra bases. 
Takes the turn. He's digging for second. In safely. It's a double and his second hit. Well, Singy, he is locked in there. Well, he's really slowed the game down, and it's like he's moving in full speed, and everybody is a step or two behind. The way that he squared up that baseball tells me that he is seeing it like a beach ball. Well, he took his chance at getting him to chase right there, but with first base open, walked out a bad thing. He set up a double play opportunity if he can induce a ground ball. Line drive, that's a base hit. Bichette around third and headed home. The throw's offline, he's safe. It's 2-1. Well, he comes through clutch with the RBI single. That was big. Everything was on time and fluid in that swing. Got a pitch he could get the barrel on and lined it into center for the knock. Those always feel good. So up next, Danny Jansen. At the dish, looking to lift the ball in the air in this spot. Anything but the inning, inning double play, boo. And he deals. That one is absolutely belted. That's back there. And out of here. Danny Jansen hits one out. His seventh home run of the season. And they throw three on the board. It's 5-1. He's so good at getting his arms extended, and that's exactly what he did right there. You don't typically want to pull a pitch in that part of the plate, but he doesn't allow his wrist to roll over, stays through the ball, gets the loft, and gets the home run. So they bring on the veteran, Rafael Montero. He's into the game with the bases empty. Now it's going to be Dalton Varsho. The pitch. Gets a piece and stays alive. Look out. That ball was smoked. Man, I am so relieved that they have this netting down the lines. Just ensure safety for the fans. Last thing is a player you want to look up and see a fan get hit. Well, tough night at the dish. Punching out for the third time right there. He just hasn't looked very comfortable at the plate. A little unsure of his timing right now. Not picking up the spin and location of these pitches. He'll have some adjustments to make. Boog, he never moved because he never had time to. With that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. Two-two now. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. That ends the frame. But four runs score in the inning. Three coming right here on the three-run homer. It's now a five. Welcome back. Now. Now, Kyle Tucker. Right-hander kicks, deals. There's a strike. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Left-hand batter waits. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. The 3-2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Very close off the outside corner. Could have easily been called. Adam Simber gets handed the rock out of the pen. He's making his fourth appearance of the season. Pitch misses there. Ball two. This is a very important inning here. After scoring all those runs, you want your pitcher to come out and just mow them down. The offense has worked hard. It's shut down inning time. Good eye right there. Hammers that one deep left field and forget it. 
When you have a team that hits home runs at such a high rate, they can get back in the ball game so quickly. That's why that leadoff walk was extremely costly. Simber is ready. Off the outside edge, and now the count is two and two. Line drive, and that one gets down. Fair ball. Chaz McCormick now at the plate. Ball to strike. There's a strike. Got him swinging for the K. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Here's Corey Lee. That misses. And now three balls and a strike. There's a strike. Good approach right there. You want to get something just a little higher that you can elevate. Stay out of that double play. Brickman, the base runner at first with one out. Got him. Back-to-back -back strikeouts. Mauricio Dubon up next for the Astros. The one-two. Fights it off. He'll see another. The pitch. Got him looking. Good job at damage control right there. But two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of this two-run homer. It's now 5-3. You're watching Major League. Back here at the ballpark, we go to the top of the seventh. Here's Kiermaier now. Swing and a miss. One and two. Wow. Good luck catching up to that one. The one, two. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Next pitch misses. And the count's two even at two. Two strikes. Left-hand hitter waits. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Battling here as he fouls it away. Two-two on the way. This to center field. McCormick trying to get there. Makes a nice run of catch. And there's one down. Now back to the second base. With and next for Toronto, Whit Merrifield. He's hitting for that pop. Came out of the gates really strong. The kick, the 3 2. It's softly on the ground, left side. And two away oh. to start the seven. And now for the Jays, Santiago Espinal. Swing and a miss. One and two. It's been a solid inning so far in relief. Getting them through this inning only down two could give their lineup a real opportunity to just grind their way. A swing and a miss. That retires the side. And that'll... Back here at Minute Maid. Now Michael Brantley steps in. A new pitcher in the game, Tim Meza. He's been so good against lefties. That front door slider is such a devastating pitch. You don't want to get beat by the inside fastball, so you cheat a little bit, and then by the time it gets there, it's out of the swing play. And now the lefty. <laughs> Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. 
three two now this is a really good feeling for a hitter at this point in the ball game you know that they don't want to walk you so you're going to get a pitch to hit you just better not miss it no trouble here puts it away for the out and there's one down and next to hit for Houston David Hensley one for three and now the count is even And the pitch bounced out to short. Bichette tosses to first, and that quickly two away. Now the left fielder, your Don Alvarez, and a one-one rips that one to right, and they get the out on Alvarez, and that'll do it. Nothing doing there for Houston. They're still down five-three. Ryan Stanek gets the ball now. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their guys a chance to fight back into the game. Here's the shortstop at the play. Bo Bichette. Next pitch is outside. And that's awfully close. I don't know how you take that. He's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well right now. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Here's George Springer. The pitch. He swings and fouls one off. In the dirt. In plenty of time to first, two up, two down here in the top of the eight. Chance to strike out the side now. You talk about the benefits, the advantages of relievers who can come in and get the swing and miss, whether it's inherited runners or maybe a little jam that they get into themselves. Knowing that they can miss the bat, tell you what, that's huge and can change the ball game. And it's even up. From a pitcher's perspective, that's a beautiful splitter right there. As a hitter, you don't like it. But he's commanded his fastball, and out of that same tunnel, that splitter comes, and the bottom just falls out of it. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Slider got him for a strike. Out of the bottom of the eighth. And now the right fielder, Kyle Tucker. Line drive. That's a base hit out of the left center field. Off to a good start with a leadoff nod. I'm sure he feels really good about that one. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. Up the middle, Merrifield. Beats the second out there. Plenty of time at first. That's a double play. I think four, six, three double plays like that are way tougher than these guys make it look sometimes because no matter how you do it, the feed from the second baseman is a tough one. That's where footwork really comes into play. But right there, very well done. A couple of hits in a row for him here. I don't know how he's able to shoot that pitch the other way and still put something on it. That pitch was inside, and he let it get really deep, so... Pretty incredible hands to fight it off and still get good wood on it. That one misses, and that's ball two. Bregman off of first with two away. Next offering is downstairs. Corey Lee up next for the Astros. Got him swinging, and that is that. One left for Houston. All set. the start of the inning. Here's the Toronto catcher, Danny Jansen. Right-handed reliever. In the air, left field. Alvarez makes the grab, one down. So up next for Toronto, Dalton Varsho.
The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. And now it's one and two. Fly ball down the line. He makes the catch, and there's two down. And next for Toronto, Kevin Biggio. He's already homered here in this one. Next offering is fouled back. Kicks and deals. Good Back eye right there. Two, two, the Here's a 2-2. Two, two. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. That's out number three. So they go quiet. Back here in. Houston. So bottom of the nine. And here's the catcher, Corey Lee. Now it's Jordan Romano out of the bullpen. Hasn't pitched in the last three days. One, two now. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. Mauricio Dubon up next for the Astros. Swing and a miss. It's a ball and two strikes. Got him swinging. Now well, it's kind of tough right here. Closer comes in and he strikes out the first two hitters. It's hard not to feel defeated and that this is going to go quickly. But you got to go up there, maybe try to find a way to choke up on the bat, spread out, put the ball in play, and maybe you can extend this inning. And a swing and a miss, and that is the ball game. It's always nice to grab the opener of a series. You come into a new ballpark, and just sometimes things aren't as comfortable as what you've been used to. The mound doesn't look straight. 